In this segment, I'm going to take a look at the Tools drop-down menu, and primarily we're going to talk about creating um, cut work using the Veneri Cut. And so I've left the, this is the a Janome Jeff file that I had previously created, and just simply opened it up in the Wings modular. And I guess the difference being, if you're working on a Jeff design that we did not create using the uh, Creative Drawing software, and yet you want to add some um, Venere cut to this design, some cut work, you have the ability to use the drawing tool under the tools menu to draw your own cutwork shape. Now, looking at the design, it's not necessarily been a design that's been intended for cutwork, but that doesn't mean you can't choose to add some. So, for example, um, just looking at the design, looking at this little sort of area here that's sort of like a little circle that's nicely surrounded by satin stitches. If I zoom in on that area, I could imagine where we could remove the stitches inside of that area, if that's what we wanted to do. And um, so far, every time we've talked about creating Venere Cut, we've talked about selecting the existing object for embroidery and then choosing to apply a Venere Cut. And I'll show that again, but in this case, there is no convenient option object that we could select and convert to be a venere cut. So what we would need to do is we would need to draw the venere cut shape. And that's where the tools drop down menu has this option for digitized venere cutting. And when I choose that, you'll notice that now my mouse has become um, a cross, a crosshair. And basically what I need to do is draw that shape. Now I'll just go ahead and click points to draw. And you'll notice that um, they come in straight, but they kind of they'll curve a little bit to match the shape that I'm drawing, kind of based upon the previous point. So as I'm putting these in, um, if I click and drag, just like in the Creative Drawing software, I can actually control the vectors to decide exactly what the curve of the shape is going to be. But basically, I just need to draw enough points now. When I get to the place here where I'm going to put my last point over top of my first point, it will automatically know that I've finished that shape. So I'm going to click that last point now. And then I can right click to let go and I'm done creating the shape. And you can see here that the software has created a new object which is going to be um, for use with the Venere cutting needles. Now. Um, that object would still need to be sequenced. You see, it's at the bottom of my sequence manager here. And so that's another example of using the layout tools and say, well, I would like to move this to the back. In other words, I want it to sew first. So now that Venere cut step has been moved to be the first piece of embroidery in our embroidery design, um, as opposed to the last where I, where I had created it. So that's the tool, and, and generally speaking, if you wanted to create a hole anywhere in, in any design, you could just shoot, choose tools and digitize, digitize venere cutting, and you go ahead and you draw yourself your shape. And when you're done, it creates the steps in your sewing sequence for the, the multicolored steps of the needles. So we have that tool under the Tools drop-down menu, and there's also an Options box here, but I'll come back to that in a minute. I just wanted to continue looking at um, creating the Venere Cut. So this is when you're going to need to digitize your own shape, but a lot of times you would have created your own design using um, the Creative Drawing software, and in that case, just as an example, I'll go back to that star that I've been looking at so often in this demonstration. So here I have a design that I created in the Creative Drawings, and it simply has two objects, a light blue weave fill and a dark blue outline. Now, if we decided, actually, rather than weave fill for this blue center, maybe we'd like to have it as a whole, or in other words, a cut work. So I can actually select that by, well, easiest way is probably just to click on it in the Sequence Manager, which highlights the object. And then while my mouse is over top of the object, I right click. And that gives me a secondary menu. And you'll notice throughout the um, Creative Drawings and Wings Modular software, there's often a second menu or a right click menu. And in this case, the right click menu, well, it's got some options for like 
the sewing sequence, but in this case it's the change to veneer cut option that I was looking for. And so rather than having to draw this shape, I can simply select that background and have it change to veneer cut. And so now we can see that it's created the veneer cut um, step in the design and it's no longer filled in in blue as it had previously been and it's been made to work with the cutting needles. So there's really two ways to create a venere cut um, portion of an embroidery design. One is to, like I just showed, to select an area of a design and then convert it to venere cut using the right click or the secondary click option. Or the op other way is to go about using the tools menu and actually choosing to digitize your own venere cut um, shape and in that case you actually have to draw all of the points for the shape yourself and that's basically what I'm doing here is just drawing points and it kind of snaps nicely to the shape which is helpful and yeah so one two more points and then right click to finish and so there you can see um, I created a, the first venere cut by just simply converting the weave fill to be a venere cut, drops all the weave fill, converts it to venere cut, or you have the option of digitizing it yourself using the tools in the drop down menu. Now, when you do create a venere cut, and this design will have actually two segments because I have venere cut sewing first, then a satin stitch border, and then it's going to come back and do another venere cut again. So obviously, that's not an appropriate. Um, sewing sequence for a design. Um, it's not that the sequence is wrong, but it doesn't make any sense to sew this satin stitch border and then come later afterwards and cut a hole down the center of it. Well, who's to say that's wrong? Maybe there's a, an interesting technique that we haven't discovered. Um, but what I wanted to show is if I look at the print preview, here you can see the sewing order of the design. So here's the first venere cut, one, two, three, four. Then I've got that satin stitch, and then a second venere cut, one, two, three, four. So whether you create the um, venere cut by right clicking and converting an object to venere cut, or whether you use the tool drop down menus and digitize that shape yourself, the end result is the same, that it, um, the software knows to take that shape and convert it into the four venere cut needles. Now, um, the venere cut needles, as if we look, you know, closely at these at the print sheet, it shows you which needle is which. So they're color coded, and they're also coded by the degree that's on them. So that's why to go around the star, it takes all four needles because there's four different needles, and each one has um, a different degree of blade that sews and then therefore cuts out that design. So literally to sew this design, you would have um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine color stops to sew out and you would have to change the cutting needle for each time it did. So yeah, that's a little bit more about using the Venere Cut tool. So um, originally we talked about just converting to Venere Cut and this time we looked at under the Tools drop down menu how you can actually create and digitize the shape yourself right here in the Wings Modular software.